Hi everybody, welcome to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim, and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving, anything in between. If you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're gonna like it here. Today is Tuesday's Craft Along with Kim, and today we are making stitch markers. Super easy, super fun. I'm already looking forward to the holidays. Great gift ideas. Come on, let's go. Okay, so here we are. We have everything we need to make our stitch markers. We have these little pins. Now I got these off of Amazon. They're fancy little safety pins and they're perfect for stitch markers. As you can see, I have a couple of them made up here. Now, literally anything that has a hole in it that you can stick something through can make a really cool stitch marker. So here's some, they're very simple. They're just little teeny beads that I had lying around and a piece of I think this was an old costume jewelry necklace. Okay, so it's really easy. Anything, like I said, that you can put a hole through or that has a hole through it. So I've gathered a bunch of stuff here. And this is an old necklace from my mom. And these are actually little pendants that I bought at Michael's. Uh, I was using them for, if you saw my video on making the sun catchers. So all of it, it's costume jewelry, if you will, or just loose little beads that you find wherever. All right, so it's as simple as this. You take one of these little pins. Now, I could make it just this simple. There you go, that's a stitch marker, okay? Or I could dress it up a little bit and say, you know what, this would be pretty to have one of these, oh, sit still one of these orange beads on each side of it. So dress it up just a little bit with the bigger bead on one side. Can you see that there? The bigger bead in the middle and little beads on each side. Simple as that, look at that. And you know what? It's a great little novelty gift. It's great to give someone who crochets or knits. And it's really as simple as that, you guys. All you need is some sort of jewel or some sort of bead with a hole in it. And if you take a necklace apart, you're gonna have to close it a little bit. Come on. Close it just a little bit so that it doesn't come off, okay? Couldn't find my needle nose plier, so I use those. So here we go, here's another one. Now I'm thinking I could make a set. They look pretty, so you wanna get the same color. Let's do red so same color i have two of those and two of those so let's see if i can do oh there's one. Oh well anyway we're gonna go with just these so i have the big ones in the middle and the little ones on the side so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put one silver then one little one. And then one of the bigger ones. Don't love it. Not going to do it. <laughs> Here's a good idea. Here we go. How about that? Oh, I have marker on my hand. How about that? We've got the pretty silver on each side and then the purple in the middle. And then I can also take the bigger purple and just hang them from it. And I could do a set of three. So we'll have two with the bigger or, and one with the smaller. There you go. How pretty is that? A nice little set right here. Move those over so you can see it. One more of the bigger. Now, these pins come in all different colors, so you could absolutely match them to the color of the bead you're doing. So there's a nice little set of three same colored stitch markers right there. That's pretty fun. All right, now let's see. I've got, I've got two of the blue ones. So let's take apart this. Two of the big blue ones. Set that aside. I'm going to actually take two blue clips one and two 
like I said, you can make these as elaborate or as easy as you like. They're just nice little ways to say I'm thinking of you or I thought this is pretty and it reminded me of you. So go ahead and you don't want to make them too heavy because remember, they're going to be hanging on someone's work if they're used, right? There's one and here's the second one and you can add any color, add any bead. There we go. It is as simple as that. You guys, here are all the stitch markers that I've made today. Okay. Nope. Here's some pretty ones. I really like that one. That one's really cool because it's got the hanging down bead without the weight of it because that feather is so light. So here's another one that goes with this set. Here's that one with that set. And here's another piece. Oh, let's try this one. Look how pretty that is. So I'm going to look through. I think I'm going to use a yellow, a yellow clip. I'm going to keep this nice and simple. I'm going to go ahead and clip that on there and there you go. So you can use regular safety pin, regular safety pins also, if you like, but I just thought these were a little bit more decorative. So you can take pretty much any necklace that you have or any, most of us that do a lot of crafting have a lot of beads sitting around beads of different sorts, beads of different types. You can use any bead that has a hole in it that you can put a pin through. And you can go ahead and make your stitch markers. Honestly, when I collect stitch markers, I do it just for the sake of having a collection. Here we go. Move them into the light a little bit better. I don't actually use stitch markers a lot. If I need a stitch marker, I usually use a piece of yarn that I'm working with, you know, like a different color. But these are really nice to give somebody, and like I said, and let them know, hey, I was thinking of you, and I thought this was pretty and I thought it was something you like, might like. So there you go. Those are your stitch markers. Great for gifts. I know the holidays are a little bit away, but they'll be here before you know it. So this is a nice, if you get a little box, make up a half dozen or a dozen of these and give them to somebody, that'd be absolutely perfect Christmas gift. So here you are, a stitch marker actually being used as a stitch marker in one of my projects. You can give them to match the project they're working or to contrast it if you wanted to use a different color altogether. So here they are. Lots of fun, super easy. You can get the kids involved in this and it is really a great gift to give somebody that loves to craft, to crochet, to knit. It's a nice way to say I'm thinking of you. I made you something without breaking the bank and you can make up a bunch of these in a very little time and give them to people for your Christmas gifts. I know. Christmas in July, right? That's what we're thinking of. All right, you guys, that is Crafting with Kim for this week. I hope you make some of these. If you do, please put them up on my Facebook page. I have a group page, two of them actually. I have a private one and a regular one. Ask to join the private one or just go ahead and post up on the public one. Um, glad you were with me. Thank you so much. I hope you make some of these and I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, always be happy, be kind, and be creative. I'll see you next time.